Going into this year, I'm really trying to focus a lot more on styling the pieces that I already have in my closet before I go out and search for new items, whether I'm thrifting or shopping online or whatever. Obviously the most sustainable practice when it comes to fashion is using what you already have, like not buying anything new. So I thought it might be fun for today's video to go inside my closet, dig through it, and pick out items that I don't really wear that often and figure out how I can style them in ways that I love. I think sometimes we're I struggle when I'm thrifting or buying a new item. I have a vision, but sometimes I don't have all of those pieces to execute that, or I don't love the way it looks on me. And then it ends up just sitting in my closet, literally collecting dust, like I never get to actually wear it. So today I am determined to figure out ways to wear these five pieces. We're gonna do a little tops, a little bottoms, a little dresses, everything in between. And hopefully we can come up with five new outfits that I'm really excited to wear this year. I'm gonna dig around and find five different items, and then we're gonna style them into outfits and try them on, so let's jump in. All right, starting off with a thrift find that I found probably back in like October or so of last year that I literally haven't worn because I don't know how. It is this pair of vintage, high-waisted, like kind of houndstooth, very, very subtle like beige and white houndstooth shorts. And I don't know why these have been so difficult. I keep going back and forth between these being like really cute and so not cool and I can't decide. <laughs> so I keep going back and forth and I literally haven't worn these because I haven't figured out a way to wear them. I can't decide if I wanna do something dressier on top, if I wanna do like a t-shirt on top, what kind of shoes since they are a bit longer. It's just, it's kind of confusing being in my head. I'm not a professional by any means. I'm just gonna see what I can come up with and hopefully it'll turn out cute. So let's try these on and see what we can do. Okay, this is one of those things where I'm like, hmm. Do I love this or do I hate this? This was a struggle, I'm not gonna lie. I went for kind of like a boho semi-safari look, really? I guess now that I think about it. So after doing a bunch of different scenarios like a long sleeve top, a sweater, a denim jacket, etc., etc., I was like, what if I did just like a summer look? Like if I did a cute summer look, maybe I was, you know, meeting up with a friend for lunch. Something cute but really wearable and casual at the same time. So this is what I came up with. I don't know. I do like this. I would just say that it's it's not perfect. I don't know what else I need to tweak, but it is really cute. Like I do really like it. This hat is from a brand called Lack of Color. It's an Australian brand. These hats are very expensive, but they do make really high quality hats in my size. I talk about it in almost every single video, but I have a really large head and the fact that they make hats up to like a double XL is amazing. So I went for like kind of a rancher hat type of vibe with this one shoulder. I can't even remember where I got this shirt, but this one shoulder sort of ribbed cross top that I think at one point had matching bottoms. I do actually like the way it looks with the shorts. It kind of like gives it a little bit more of a dressy element and the shorts are really casual. I wasn't sure if I wanted to roll up the shorts or not, but I feel like what makes them cute is their length. It's kind of just very 90s, so I don't know, we're rolling with it. And then my shoes are a thrifted pair of sort of like a sand color boot that I wear all the time. They're extremely comfortable. They're really broken in. I'm not sure how I feel about the hat. So maybe if I did without the hat, but see now without the hat, I feel like it's missing something, you know? I don't know. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below, but we're definitely making some headway here. I would 100% wear this. So I guess that's, you know, that's a good start. We'll see where this pair of shorts and I go on this journey. And I figured instead of immediately reselling or donating these items, I would try to play around with them and style them a little bit more first, give them a little bit more life. So far, I would give this outfit like a seven out of 10. It's good, it's not perfect, but I would wear it. Next up, we have something that I purchased probably in like summer of last year, maybe even spring of last year, like a long time ago. And it's from a brand called Lisa Says Ga, which is a sustainable brand that they're very expensive. I have not shopped since, but I did love what I got. And one of those items was this checkered sweater. And here's the thing, I did kind of purchase it when I was going through my like very colorful, funky phase last year. And I still love it. I think it's great, but I mean, it still has the tag on it. It's literally never been worn and I don't super resonate with it anymore. Like it, it isn't 100% my style, but I really do wanna try and make this work. I think one of the reasons that I haven't worn this this winter is because I don't really know what to wear it with. You 
could just do like some jeans, like maybe some flare jeans or something. And I guess that's cute too, but I guess I just want to elevate it a little bit more and make it a little trendier, a little cooler. So I guess we'll see what ends up happening. I don't have that much trendy edgy stuff in my closet, but I kind of have an idea. So let's start with this as the foundation and see what we can come up with. All right, I feel like we were off to an okay start and now I'm not entirely sure where this is going. Like it's, there's a derailment happening. I really loved the idea of this in my head and I still feel like it's cute. I feel like all of these are gonna turn out cute, but it's just maybe gonna take a little bit more tweaking and playing around with, but I really do have a vision for this outfit. It's kind of like artisty in a way, if you will, but it also kind of looks like it's the early nineties and I'm skiing. Kind of thing. So with the sweater, I decided I was gonna pair this like ivory bone colored overalls from Old Navy. I got these when I went in their fitting rooms over the summer last year when they kind of re-released their new extended sizing. And I haven't gotten to wear these overalls yet either. So I'm, I guess I'm trying to kill two birds with one stone. And it felt like kind of artisty. Like it looks like I could be a painter maybe, but it also looks like a really cute brunch outfit. My sort of biggest gripe with this is just that this sweater is super duper thick. And so like wearing it in my overalls tucked in enough to be, you know, not bulging out the sides gives me like a half an inch of bulge in the front here. So that kind of bothers me, but I think it's growing on me. I don't know, maybe like a beanie with this would be cute. Maybe even like a different pop of color. Like I do have a mustard beanie. I could try that. Hold that thought. <laughs> All right, put on the beanie. It's definitely getting there. It's better, I think. I think it looks a little bit... I don't know, it edges it up a bit. This beanie is actually Drew's. Um, I think he got it at Forever 21 like four years ago. So it's not available, but there it is. And then I just went with my platform Converse with these. I felt like a white pair of sneakers would be cute. And usually I wouldn't do like a white and purple checkered sweater with like a whitish ivory-ish overall, but I don't know, something about this really did call to me. It feels kind of like I'm like a New York girly. I feel like a lot of the New York girlies would wear something like this, or maybe even like the east side of LA girlies definitely would wear this. So maybe I will hang on to this and just sort of see how I can play around with it again love to hear your suggestions below but I would say this is like a six and a half out of ten I would change a few things but it is still cute next I have an item that I thrifted in my first thrift trip of 2021 like right after I got vaccinated I was so excited and I found this pair of leather pants and they're very like mom wine aunt pants, you know? I don't know why finding cute basics that go with like a patterned bottom, but that aren't like boring and bland is so difficult for me. I really do like to have, like if there's pattern on the bottom, I like to have it be solid on the top, but like not boring. So that's kind of the challenge. I kind of also want to see this in a little bit more of like a dressed up, like night out fun pant. We'll see what we come up with this because I think these pants are really, really fun. I just need to find the perfect ways to wear them and enjoy them and get more use out of them in my closet. So we'll see. Okay. Now this is what I'm talking about. This is much more along the lines of something that I would actually wear. In fact, I feel like this is going to be my new favorite outfit. I thought like, Ooh, what if I just did like a black on black on black thing? And I recently thrifted this blazer. I think I got it on thread up. It all goes so well together. I would totally wear this on like a happy hour date, dinner date out. So this crisscross Halter is from Abercrombie. They have become one of my favorite brands recently. They have just really high quality stuff. And then I've got my thrifted blazer, my thrifted pants, and also a pair of thrifted loafers. I found this white pair of loafers. They're like a faux leather. And I think they're really funky and cool. And if you didn't feel like going that like funky level, you could do like a black boot. So I'm gonna try that too. This feels more like a kind of boss bitch dressed up kind of moment. And I really do love it as well. Tell me I don't look like like the person in charge of this event in this outfit. Like I really do love it. I love the energy that is coming off of this. It's really giving me life right now. So I'm, I'm really happy with this. This is exactly what I wanted going into this video. It's obviously not going to be perfect because with styling, there's going to be a lot of trial and error, a lot of switching things out, but I really love this. This is like a nine out of 10 for me. It would also be super cute without the blazer as well. Like if you were somewhere where it was hot and you didn't want to wear the blazer, come on. You could kind of do like one of these. 
I've always wanted to do that. I'm really, really happy with this one. Like this might be my favorite of the bunch. We'll see because we have a couple more, but I'm so pleased with how this turned out. Next, we have another thrift find that's pretty recent. I want to say I got it back in like August or September of last year and it's this glorious long slip dress. It's like a maxi slip dress. It was available in 1X, which is so rare in the thrift store. Like usually you find a cute slip dress and it's like a size extra small. It has this gorgeous slit on the side. I feel like it's so pretty. Pretty, but I haven't found the perfect way to wear it yet that doesn't look like a nightgown because it is a nightgown. <laughs> you are wearing pajamas when you wear this, but I do see so many cute looks on Pinterest and on Instagram of people wearing these amazing slip dresses that don't look like pajamas. They look very chic and very put together. So I think maybe I need to just work on how I'm styling it a little bit more and then go from there. I don't know if I need to do like something underneath it, something over it. We're going to play around with it and see what we can up with because I really really want to love this and I mean look at this gorgeous material this gorgeous color like she needs her moment to shine so let's see this one went in a totally different direction than I anticipated but I actually love it so much I'm really really pleased with it I did end up going on Pinterest because I was sitting there like okay it's not clicking up here. The math's not mathing. I can't figure out how to style this to save my life. So I just went on Pinterest and I searched slip dress outfits and I saw a really cute casual up version of a slip dress with like a leather jacket over it like this. And then the girl had on some checkered slip on bands. I don't have those, but I have my regular bands and I actually love this. I will say that the dress itself is probably like a little bit big on me. I think this is a one X and I would probably need Need like an XL or a 0X. And I considered maybe belting it, but then I felt like, is that cute? Is that corny? I don't know. I kind of like it just being flowy like this, but let me know your thoughts. I'd love to see what you think. I really, really do love the idea of this very dressy dress, even though it's low-key pajamas and then also a leather jacket and then dressing it down with some sneakers. Like that just feels very me. Lots of different elements from different styles and I feel very confident in this. I would give this probably like, again, a nine out of 10. I just don't 100% love the fit of the dress. I think what I'm learning with all of these outfits in this video is that I'm getting there. Like I feel like I'm practicing, I'm getting better, I'm honing my styling skills a little bit. And hopefully by like the end of this year, I will be able to style like nobody's business. I really do enjoy the styling aspect of fashion. And it's just really fun to take items from my closet that I already had and mix and match them and create new outfits out of them that I never would have worn before. So I'm very pleased with this one. And the last item Item is another new with tags item. I've purchased it. It's sat in my closet. I haven't gotten a chance to use it yet. And it is this pair of wide leg tie front jeans from Eloqui. I purchased this pair of jeans when I did a video a few months ago called trying on your favorite kinds of jeans. Like all of you recommended your favorite pairs and I tried them out. They have this like very gorgeous sort of 70s vibe going on with them. And when I first saw them, I was like, oh no, these are gonna look so matronly on me. These are so different from anything I would wear. But then I tried them on and kind of fell in love with them. And I, I do love them, don't get me wrong, but I haven't found the right way to style them yet. And I think that's why I haven't worn them. So I guess we'll play around and maybe play into the 70s thing a little bit. These really do have so much potential and they need their moment. I just need to figure out how to feel my most confident self in them. So let's see. I can't remember if I thought of pairing this top and these bottoms together when I bought these jeans or if I just thought of it in my closet, but either way, I love it. I feel like this is the side of Carrie who grew up in Tennessee. I absolutely love these paired together. I thought of this shirt when I was in my closet and I was like, oh yes. I mean, it speaks for itself. We love 90s country around here. This t-shirt brand is called Sweet Fucking Tea. I'll link it down below. They also have one that says Dolly Parton and Honky Tonk, I wanna say. I got a couple extras for my friends when I bought it last year and gave it to them. And like, we're all gonna match and do karaoke. <laughs> it's gonna be so fun. And it's just, it's a match made in heaven. I was gonna wear a pair of like mustard colored Converse with these. And I still think that'd be really cute. Especially if you were doing more of like a going out during the day type of thing. But something about 
these boots. It kind of reminds me of like cowboy boots in a way. So it sort of just like completes the look for me. And I just love these jeans. Now that I have them back on, I'm like, oh yeah, now I know why I kept them. I love them. I love how the ringer tee kind of accentuates the 70s aspect of the jeans, but it doesn't feel costumey. This one is a 10 out of 10 for me. There's nothing I would change about it at all. I really, really love it so much. And this is honestly so much fun. I talk about this in all of these like shop my closet videos, but if you are feeling stale and stuck in your wardrobe, but maybe you don't have the budget to go out and buy new items, or maybe you're trying to be more sustainable, I would highly recommend either logging on Pinterest or going on Instagram and seeing what you already have to work with and mixing and matching and coming up with totally different looks and themes. It's honestly so much fun. Even if you don't make YouTube videos, like it's really fun. So while we had some hits and we had some misses, we ended it on a really good note. I could not be happier about this. Nashville Carrie is back, y'all. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. You can also turn on my post notifications if you wanna be notified every time I post a new video. Thank you so much for being here, for stopping by on your journey on the internet. It means the world to me, and I will see you in the next video.